Rescue operations to save 41 trapped workers from a collapsed tunnel in India's Uttarakhand has entered a critical phase. Rescuers drilled more than halfway to the trapped workers after identifying a location for vertical drilling. As per officials, drilling of 45 meters has been completed and just 12 meters is left for a breakthrough. Earlier, rescuers inserted an endoscopy camera into the tunnel to facilitate visuals of the workers on Tuesday morning. The trapped laborers also had a hot meal on Tuesday night, sent in through a six-inch wide pipeline that was set up to send fruits and establish communication. Four 900 millimeter diameter pipes of six meters each were pushed to 21 to 22 meters last week before they hit an obstacle. Now we have decided that we will lay an 800 millimeter diameter pipe through the telescoping method. The teams utilize 900 millimeter pipes to reach a depth of 24 meters. Beyond that, they employed 800 millimeter pipes to advance farther to 36 meters. The rescue efforts are at a crucial juncture. The trapped workers are stuck in the most daunting conditions. Speaking to officials through a narrow pipe, they pleaded for a swift rescue. Meanwhile, Uttarakhand Chief Minister Pushkar Singh Dami say the priority is to evacuate all the workers safely. He wrote on social media platform X that Prime Minister Narendra Modi is being regularly updated on the progress of the rescue effort. In the backdrop of this tragedy, the National Highway Authority of India has decided to carry out a safety audit for 24 tunnels that are under construction in the mountainous terrain. Vaibhav Dange is a policy expert in infra sustainability and green mobility and Dr. Naveen Kumar Bhatnagar is a former DIG at the National Disaster Response Force. They are both joining us from New Delhi. Welcome both to the show. Thank you. Mr. Vaibhav, allow me yeah. to start with you. Now that the National Highway Authority of India has ordered an audit of all tunnels, can you explain to us the terrain and one of the underlying factors that hampers workers while constructing these roadways or tunnels? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, the Himalayan entire terrain is a very delicate and a very young terrain compared to the settled mountains in some part of the western uh, part of uh, the world, whether it's Europe or the or the uh, American, North American, and Canadian, Canadian range. So compared to that, the Himalayan range is quite young and the terrain is very unsettled till now. Therefore, such kind of incidences has been regularly happening during the construction of tunnels in various parts of Himalayan range, whether it is Jammu and Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Himachal. In 2015, similar kind of uh, tragedy uh, the, was faced during the construction of a tunnel at Manali. So these kind of incidences are very typical to this kind of terrain. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I, I, I absolutely agree that the NHI is a welcome move by the National Highway Authority to undertake the safety audit, mm -hmm. do necessary amendments in their engineering design, drawing, construction methodology, if required, machinery, and accordingly make sure that no such kind of, uh, you know, accident happens. Mm -hmm. The safety of the workers and the terrain is paramount and uh, it's it's obvious that they should focus on re-engineering wherever required okay. and ensuring that the work is carried out safely. Dr. Naveen, let me now come to you. The rescuers say they are just meters away from uh, accessing the trapped workers. In your view, what can you highlight has been the motivator of this joint team this far? Yeah. So, yeah. Uh to me already i have spoken at so many level and so many channels about it and i requested the government of india as well as the national highway authority and state government also for the safety audit of all the tunnels like that because everybody knows that himalayan uh, ridge uh, is completely a sandy rock ridge 
and lot of water stagnation is there here and there so uh, due to that uh, since is a rocky is a sandy rocks so uh, it's very prone to this uh, type of incidents it may happen whenever any earthquake come of uh, five or six magnitude so maximum uh, tunnels will be damaged uh, so uh, it is must to have this uh, safety audit and uh, the whatever the problems are there or will be noticed it should be removed immediately mm -hmm. so in this case today's case so um, uh, we are very near to the rescue uh, the people uh, only 5 meter uh, distance is there so i think within uh, this night uh, we will be able to approach the uh, victims or our uh, the 41 uh, workers and uh, we will take out all the men uh, from that uh, particular area uh, so tomorrow morning uh, with the rising sun we will get the good news for everybody and uh, we will pray from the god that everybody should come out uh, because our NDRF people, they are highly skilled and trained and uh, with their uh, oxygen uh, equipment like BS sets and all these things, uh, they will go first inside the uh, trapped area and uh, they will take out all the people who are trapped in the, that particular area and they will be provided these BS sets so that they can easily um, uh, walk, uh, walk means uh, crawl in that particular pipe with the help of uh, the other NDRA people uh, okay. and uh, mm -hmm. they will be given proper oxygen also and uh, moreover the intake of oxygen will be increased as as well as uh, they will uh, move, uh, their movement will be there so immediately when they will come out immediately 41 ambulances and doctors with their teams are ready in each ambulance and they will give in the first aid uh, first uh, and after that first aid if uh, and needed uh, the people to, uh, should be taken to AIMS, uh, there are uh, Rishikesh and uh, serious cases will be airlifted immediately from there. So uh, Mr. C. M. Dhami as well as Mr. Modi, uh, I'll salute to Mr. Modi also because without his help, it was this, uh, um, really it was not possible. It was really impossible mission as uh, in first day I noticed that really it was very, very difficult. But uh, Mr. Modi and his team, uh, including the CM, everybody has right. taken uh, a very good step and uh, procured the, all the equipment, machine, as experts within no time. I can say within no time. And uh, Doctor, the complete I'll come back to you. I'll come back to you. Yeah. I'll come back to yeah. you. Just give me time, uh, a little sh uh, short while. Uh, Mr. Vaibhav, coming back to you, when the excavators reach the workers, there are two options that will be used for exit by the workers. Can you explain to us what we should expect when and after this feat is achieved? Uh, as, as has been observed and monitored and your channel and most of the media channels are showcasing, the whole effort is uh, the rescue operation is focused on ensuring a 900 mm dia pipe to be inserted through the debris which have fallen down and which are because of which the entire blockade of tunnel has happened so once this pipe is run through i think more than 45 48 meters pipe has already been run through and it's only a few meters away once that is run through uh, the rescue operation will focus on getting each worker out of uh, that uh, trapped tunnel through this uh, uh, rescue pipe which they have put in as you might be aware, yesterday there is a, a, another pipe, short pipe, which has been put, which is ensuring a food supply, medicine supply, oxygen supply, uh, video cameras, uh, mobile phones for to be in touch with the with the trapped workers. So the whole operation will happen in a manner. Once this, the entire pipeline is uh, completely insured and the access is established. The focus will be to immediately take out each and every worker. And as explained by Mr. Naveen, then they will be, their health conditions will be monitored. But the focus is to ensure that re the entire pipe, uh, which is being inserted through debris is cleared and they reach the, uh, the workers trapped area. And from there, rescue team will start uh, inserting the stretchers, trolleys, whatever is possible and try to take each and every worker out through the, that rescue pipe. Okay. That's the focus. And hopefully, 
by the dawn of the to- by the by the sun uh, sunrise of tomorrow morning most of the workers will be out of danger will be coming out of that rescue of course fingers are crossed uh, god forbids nothing no accident happens furthermore there are no challenges that are faced in these rescue operations the rescue operations primarily should be over so that's right. first and the uh, paramount part of uh, securing the safety of the workers and then the whole process of audit and safety engineering review will happen so that the entire tunnel which is already digged out doesn't go into any further challenges mm-hmm. there is a there is no harm to the existing tunnel and the rescue operations for the tunnel will start thereafter but that's a long process where entire engineering review and other things will happen the first come first is ensuring the safety of the 41 uh, uh, workers that are trapped in trapped inside that tunnel all right well said dr navin very briefly what lessons can india and the rest of the region especially countries which construct such tunnels learn from this expedition very briefly yeah so it is a great challenge for uh, we all the people and a lesson that we should learn this lesson from uh, each and every sector in each and every area also yeah, so uh, we should be more careful uh, while dealing such uh, tunnel operating systems so uh, the whatever the things are required as we have uh, badly experienced so uh, every equipment and all these things should be procured uh, well in advance uh, for the meet out the challenges which comes uh, so and moreover the trading is must i tell you uh, please uh, note down uh, through this channel i will tell uh, already it is mentioned in the uh, disaster policy 2009 that uh, in section 10 and 11 the training of each and every worker who is dealing this such dangerous area they should be well trained and under under the supervision of trained officers not like that that work was handed over to the contractor you do like that and anyhow i'll not discuss this matter this time but i'll say that um, uh, this time our priority is to take out the victims uh, 41 victims and give the proper treatment and uh, for their better life we should pray from the god yeah all right i've been talking to vibhav yeah. dange who is a policy expert if in I infra may, if Make i may very add quick. very quick one yeah. sentence so the, the biggest lessons biggest lesson i think is to to ensure that we have enough instrument to understand the geo strata of any uh, Uh, infrastructure projects unless we have a better understanding of geo strata this kind of challenges will be uh, occurring regularly all right i've been talking to vai bab dange who is a policy expert in infra sustainability and green mobility and dr navin kumar is a former dig at the national disaster response force thank you both for talking to us today thank you so much we on is now available in your country download the app now and get all the news on the move